do. Now we carry on with the next podcast we have yeah, here we're call, um, on stage. Mr. Jakob Zorz, director of Yares. Jakob. Jakob Zorz. And the is presenter here. is... Would and you know? Stanko Juran, sales manager from Softnet, will be yeah. the guy Hi. who will be presenting and doing the podcast. Welcome. Welcome. Nice Welcome. to have you with us. Sit down. Hi. You have 15 minutes, so... Hit it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the postcard, uh, podcast of uh, Adria Security Summer uh, Summit uh, 2023. I am Jakob Zorsch, editor-in-chief of Slovenian cyber security magazine Kibernitie. And today we will listen to Mr. Stanko Guran, regional sales manager of Softnet company, about highly available connectivity. Hello, everybody. Um, it would be hard to find a better panelist, given that Softnet is the leading provider of highly reliable internet connections in Slovenia with 80% market share. And Mr. Guran uh, has several decades of experience in offering of IT and communication services. Mr. Guran, meanwhile, we know each other for a long time. Uh, the whole story of IT, OT, digitalization, um, artificial intelligence, communications have been somehow lost. Just like we are aware of our thoughts, uh, our feelings, and don't even think about signals propagating through our nerves or nerve fibers. Uh, yet when any of them are interrupted, part of us no longer serves a, an action. Uh, it can progress to loss of uh, sensation, to the loss of motor function, or even to paralysis or pain. Uh, Stanko, what does uninterrupted connectivity mean for today's business? Uh, <clears throat> thank you for short introduction. Uh, yes, uh, people are not aware of what internet today means. Uh, you can have uh, everybody say we have internet connections uh, we are working 24 7 our factory work around the world uh, but when we ask a basic question what internet uh, means to them uh, or how long they can be without internet uh, usually people say oh we can uh, live uh, one day two days without uh, no problem uh, until some accident uh, happens uh, and then uh, when we start questioning uh, the management board Okay, you say you can uh, survive 24 hours without internet. This is not true. Perhaps two minutes, three minutes, uh, and uh, your people will already notice the system is down, your factory is not working uh, because all the systems are connected over the internet. And uh, then we have the basic question. Okay, do you understand what internet is? Uh, do you know the difference between uh, direct internet access or uh, if we have just normal uh, broadband internet access? Uh, and uh, people are, this, are just not aware, they just see the cost of the money. Oh, I have some uh, very basic internet line, it costs me 20, 40 euros per month, uh, this is enough for us. Uh, yes, this is true until uh, some uh, processes or buyers or suppliers demand something much more uh, from uh, your company, then you uh, come into big problems. Uh, then management uh, doesn't understand, okay, you if you need uh, direct internet access, this will cost you 300, 500, even 1,000 euros in Asia uh, for uh, normal internet connectivity. Uh, then the company aware, okay, why should I pay this? Uh, and the best case is uh, to explain them in some business cases uh, when this already happened. Uh, for example, I had Last week, uh, I went to a meeting, and uh, on the driveway to there, uh, 10 uh, large trucks were already uh, making a traffic jam. Uh, I needed 20 minutes to come to them, uh, and I asked them, do you have any problems? Yes, uh, uh, our customs uh, uh, to apply to, to trucks to deliver goods to other countries, uh, the server is down, we cannot access it, uh, and everybody panicked. And I, okay, do you have internet? Yes. Uh, the networking is working, routing is working? Yes. 
where do I have this uh, server? He said, oh, we have it in a one cloud uh, provider. Uh, he guarantees us uh, everything is okay, uh, but it doesn't work. How long? It doesn't work. He said, two hours. The trucks are uh, staying. And uh, the next question was, okay, do I have a backup plan? What will you do? Uh, and uh, he answered, no. We can send the trucks uh, outside uh, 100 kilometers away uh, that uh, other company will do these customs procedures, but this will cost a lot of money. Okay, mm -hmm. let's call this a uh, technician in cloud service provider. Uh, what is wrong? Uh, <clears throat> we solved the problem very fast uh, because uh, we gave them access uh, to this server. Uh, and then the next day uh, we started asking question, okay, how could this happen? At the end, it was a basic human error. Uh, the IT guy who uh, upgraded uh, uh, virtualization on this uh, cloud service provider uh, mistyped the IP address. And that was it. Nothing worked. Mm -hmm. And uh, the solution was simple. OK, uh, it's not just to migrate server to a softnet uh, cloud uh, provider. Uh, it's uh, to write the procedure. What will you do if this server is down? This was just one basic element uh, that one, just one procedure was done. Uh, the other uh, case is uh, we had a couple of years ago, uh, we talked with this client over one year. They have a primary uh, line from telecom, optical line, uh, one gigabit internet line. Everything was okay. Uh, we gave them our own solution. Okay, we can provide you with secondary uh, internet line. We can provide you with uh, BGP. Uh, we can arrange your autonomous space number. Uh, but no, no, uh, we don't need that. Everything is working for the past 15 years. Uh, no problems uh, until now. Until uh, it was Wednesday, uh, 3 o'clock uh, afternoon, uh, the managing director called me. Uh, Luke Stanko, can you come uh, tomorrow to our factory? Uh, yes, I can come around 10 o'clock. No, no, be there at 8 o'clock uh, in the morning. Why? Uh, just come, uh, we need your help. Okay. Uh, immediately I called their IT manager, what is going on? And he said, uh, our factory is on hold the whole day. Uh, we deliver goods uh, just on time. Uh, 50 trucks were standing there. Uh, they cannot proceed because uh, they cannot uh, start uh, anything. Uh, no papers, uh, uh, no which goods uh, goes on each each lorry, uh, and they had problems. Uh, okay, I said I will help you. Uh, we will establish the internet connection over the night uh, because uh, they, the the factory is in remote location. Uh, the optical lines were cut in three places, and not even the telecom with the whole team could not solve the problem over the night. Uh, we established the internet line in six hours. Uh, the factory could uh, start again. And the next morning, uh, it was not a problem to sign the uh, contract, uh, except uh, the cost which this company experienced, which was half a million euros uh, for those one day of outage. And if we, if we calculate the cost for one day, uh, for one year of this internet access, it's 10,000 euros per year. So this is uh, the problem which, uh, especially in this region, uh, some companies uh, don't understand. And then is the next question, uh, what is the motivation? How to come uh, to these problems? How to discuss with the management board? How to help IT managers uh, to solve these problems? Uh, and uh, it's not uh, the right way to scare them, okay, uh, some days will, it will happen. Uh, actually, uh, the industry, the buyers, especially from Germany, Spain, France, uh, England, uh, in Asia, they are uh, pushing uh, those factories, okay, you need redundancy, uh, you need to be written all these procedures uh, to establish uh, high availability on your system. And high availability doesn't, doesn't just mean uh, buy another equipment, have two routers, have uh, additional switches, uh, have uh, uh, virtualization, uh, have something in the cloud. No, it just means basic uh, simple steps. Uh, two internet providers uh, arrange uh, autonomous space number, uh, have redundancy, have the disaster recovery center on different location. And uh, for example, uh, in Germany, uh, there is organization uh, VDI, uh, Verein uh, 
Deutsche Engineer. Uh, um, and this uh, establishment is old, 150 years. Uh, and they write the procedures for the industry, what should happen in each uh, status of a uh, factory. And uh, a lot of Slovenian companies already realize this. Uh, the buyers come to him, uh, they do internal check if they are valid for to be uh, their supplier. And uh, this is the major uh, issue uh, how to establish uh, some redundancy in the internet. Uh, what are the specific challenges of the companies you help with uh, Softnet? Uh, it's very different. Uh, depends from the company. If this is a production company, uh, we help them uh, from the beginning. Softnet is old over 26 years. Uh, we started business in Slovenia and then we expanded uh, in Croatia, uh, Serbia, Bosnia, uh, Macedonia, Romania, <coughs> Bulgaria. Uh, but uh, then the factories about 15 years ago uh, started to moving uh, factories uh, in Asia, especially China, uh, and then became a big problem how to connect Chinese uh, factory, which is in China, in some Guangdong province, uh, to the Europe, uh, and ERP system is working and running in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, we established this and. Uh, it is not the problem, the speed of the connection. The problem is latency. Uh, if you see the Asia is on other part of the world, uh, if you go over the optical lines across the oceans, the latency be, will be about 500 to 600 uh, milliseconds. Uh, we took the shortest path uh, from Germany, uh, from Frankfurt, uh, over Russia, uh, to China, uh, and this uh, latency is around 170 to 180 milliseconds. This means that if you have a uh, Windows infrastructure, uh, Windows server, uh, Exchange server, SQL server, uh, Oracle databases, uh, SAP, Info, everything will work from Europe directly over this uh, MPLS line. And we specialize on, for these lines for the past 15 years. And then the business started to expand, uh, not just in uh, China, but also in uh, Vietnam. Uh, in Philippines and uh, this year we opened office also in Indonesia. Okay, um, digitalization has accelerated the use of cloud computing, uh, but uh, what problems are your customers facing here? Yeah, cloud computing sounds very okay uh, because everybody is thinking they will push something in the cloud and no worries, everything will work uh, from itself. It's not true. Uh, because uh, at the beginning, uh, if you have a Microsoft Cloud, I don't know, Office uh, 365, uh, or some servers in the Microsoft Cloud, uh, it's just a basic price needs you. Okay, you have uh, servers there, but you have a best effort service uh, for internet connections. If you need something more, you will pay more money. That means you need to have dedicated line from your premises directly to this cloud. And this costs from 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 euros per month. And a lot of clients are not aware because they think, no, Microsoft will arrange everything for us until the first uh, problem uh, occurs. Uh, then, uh, then they realize we need uh, some uh, direct line to this cloud. Uh, the same happens with uh, SAP. If you have uh, SAP or uh, Info in the cloud, yes, you will need a direct line with your own uh, dedicated bandwidth to establish uh, your link. And this is what uh, Softnet is specialized for. You are very active in the region. You mentioned uh, also in China, but you are present on five continents. Yes. What does this global support mean for your customers? Uh, our customers rely on us uh, for 24-7 services around the globe. Uh, we have companies which we provide services in Slovenia, in Serbia, Mexico, uh, in China, in Philippines, and just is, this is just one uh, Slovenian company. We do a lot of business uh, for international uh, clients which have uh, factories all around the world. And uh, why they choose us? Uh, because we have uh, very good technical knowledge and we provide them the right solution uh, for their problem. Because each, uh, each customer is on different level of IT, IT uh, resources, and then you need to find the right combination which will work for them. 
Okay, Mr. Guran, thank you very much for being to share uh, your experience with us. Uh, I wish a uh, whole SoftNet team every success uh, in the worldwide uh, telecommunications podium. Thank you also, dear audience, uh, for uh, your attention. And I invite you to follow the exciting action of the second part of uh, Adria Security Summit.